Nowadays, it pays to be a savvy shopper. Middlebury Consignment offers a unique venue for buyers wanting an unbelievable value and for smart sellers as well. Joining me now is Dean Yemenis. He's the owner of Middlebury Consignment. Dean, thank you so much for being here. It's my pleasure. So we have to talk about the building initially because it's really remarkable. It's worth seeing the building itself. It is. It is. Um, it was a uh, cabinet shop um, and looked like a carriage house. And um, I always admired the building. And it when it became available, I decided to purchase it. And uh, we we're renovating it. We're almost done. Mm -hmm. And uh, it will look fabulous when it's finished. But initially, you didn't know what you were going to do with the building. That's correct. Okay. That's correct. But uh, after talking to people in the area about possible uses, mm -hmm. the idea was to make it a destination location. Well, because it's in lovely Middlebury, we that's, should mention, my hometown. That's and right. it's a great town to check out. There's great restaurants, so it really could be a destination. Correct. And um, the idea of doing furniture consignment uh, came more by accident when I asked uh, uh, somebody who's involved in the store now about uh, furniture consignment, because she had done it in the past. Mm -hmm. and. Um, she was gung-ho, especially because the building is 15 or 16,000 square feet. Oh, so it's enormous. Right. You could fit a lot of furniture right. in there. And with furniture, you need a large space uh -huh. to have an adequate selection. And as the building's evolved, um, we've added every unique product. I'd like to say some of it was our idea, but a lot of it is as people come in and say, would you like to take this item? Mm -hmm. And uh, they really do bring in unique product. And uh, so we're having a lot of fun. You can probably tell from the way I'm speaking about no, it. No, I'm glad to hear it's a success. So tell me, where do you get the consignments from? Um, they really uh, initially started coming from, you know, towns around Middlebury. And it was by word of mouth. Mm -hmm. And um, what's happened is as the word of mouth has spread, sort of like viral marketing, <laughs> sure. um, we're getting them from farther and farther away. Uh, we've gotten them from uh, down by the shore, uh, Suffield, and actually over the New York State border. Great. Dean, you've brought a lovely little living room for us today. I have. I'm going to leave it for you. <laughs> oh, really? That's fantastic. Added bonus. Um, tell me about the pieces we're looking at. Well, the piece I'm sitting on is a CR Lane high back settee uh, with Queen Anne legs. Uh, and this was in a home in Litchfield, mm -hmm. one of five homes that these people owned. They went there once a year. Uh, I just met them in about a month ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, they brought this piece down. And as you can see, it looks brand new. It's brand new. Yeah. Well, that's terrific, and I see a lot of uh, decoration pieces also. Right. This piece uh, was a Singer sewing machine, and this is the base, and it was restored. And you can see Singer still stamped oh, on yeah. the little bobbin draws, and we, we thought that would be a nice accessory side piece. Okay. Um, the chair you're sitting on is actually an antique reproduction uh, by a designer called Theodore Alex named Theodore Alexander. And uh, as you can see, there's brass inlaid in these these chairs. They're, oh, there's a lot of detail. And they have a, a brocade seat on them. They're beautiful and they're $495. That's a bargain. Not right. so bad. Right. All right. And I see a lovely um, rug here. This rug is actually an antique Kerman prayer rug somewhere between 1850 and 1900. And as you can see, it's in great condition. It's got beautiful colors. Um, as I said, people are bringing in unbelievable things. Mm -hmm. And the so, table, we should mention that. Since the table is a uh, beveled glass top uh, with marble and metal legs. And um, again, a beautiful, unusual looking piece. And that's only $295. So, Dean, we should mention that there's price points for everyone uh, at the right, store. Right. We have uh, some antiques in the store that are seven or $8,000. Mm -hmm. And we have items such as this piece of art, which is $17.50. Oh, really? Yes. You could find something for everyone then. Right. Um, tell me about the painting I'm looking at over there. Well, that's an original oil by a young artist named J.R. Sloan. Um, it's oil on linen. Um, it, it is made to look old. It, mm -hmm. it actually is not old. Oh. And that's $495 with that frame. All right. That's great. Let's talk about uh, the kitchen you have in your store because there's a lot of activity going on there. There is. That's part of the plan for the destination. Um, <clears throat> we ended up putting in a gourmet kitchen. Um, it uh, is about a thousand square feet. Mm -hmm. It has all Wolf, Sub-Zero, ASCO appliances. Oh, top of the line stuff in there. And originally it was going to be a kitchen for me because I like to cook. And uh, as our customers heard that we were putting this kitchen in, they said, are you going to give cooking lessons? Oh, there's a thought. And I said, great idea. So we actually do give cooking lessons and we have a number of chefs who come in. And it's a fun event. Mm -hmm. People come in, they cook, then they eat dinner in our formal dining room. And um, this is, again, part of the idea of bringing lots of people to the area. 
You could spend the whole day there then, it sounds like. Oh, easily. Easily, and I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, let's talk about your website. You have uh, items on there daily, or you could check out the supply there? Um, you used to be able to, but what's happened is we're actually going to be changing what we put up. We're going to put up what I would call, call slower moving objects, such as fine antiques, mm -hmm. where there's going to be a more limited market, because what we found happened is we put things on the website. Mm -hmm. They were sold by the time people... Came into the store, probably. Right. Wow. So we don't want to upset people, sure. so we're, we're changing that format. So is, uh, you have furniture you want to consign. How do you do this? Um, it's pretty easy. You can give us a call. Or you can email us at uh, middlebury-consignment at gmail.com, and we'd like you to include photos um, of what you want us to cons you you want to consign. Mm -hmm. um, we don't take anything that's worn, torn, soiled. Um, if antiques are scratched or damaged, we have a gentleman on site who has 50 years experience refinishing them. Oh, see, so those we'll take. No matter what, you're getting top of the line stuff here, Absolutely. even if it's it's an antique. Right. Fantastic. Well, Dean, thank you so much for being here. And you can check out the Middlebury Consignment at the shops at Whittemore Crossings. All the information is right there on the screen, or you could just go to WTNH.com and click on Style and check out all the fabulous things there. Again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And stay with us. There's much more Connecticut Style coming up. We're cooking in the kitchen with some of Bridgeport's bravest. Stay with us.